Welcome, Aries. So nice to have you here with me today. Uh, we're going to be doing your reading. We're going to tap into what Spirit wants to tell you. I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to Ascended Stars. This is Ali Jade and um, very excited. Oh man, something's coming up. It's going to be a burdensome energy. Okay, sorry to hear that. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Aries, no waiting. <laughs> no waiting for you. Okay. Nourishment, abundance, asking, receiving. I think you're doing pretty well. So I think this is... I'm, we're going to go with, you know, your counterpart and you. So I think you're doing pretty well. I think you're worried about somebody. Somebody might be going through... I think others are going through it, but you're not. I think this puts you in a place of fear. And, um, yeah, the burden is a mystery. We don't know exactly where this is coming from. But you have you hold the power here. Accepting help from another. Delegating authority. Okay, you hold the power to bring assistance and help. Definitely, this is your reading. Definitely, my beautiful Aries. You guys are so powerful. So, you know, you wrote, you're the emperor in the tarot. Okay, we got two things here. The sun. So yeah, you're going to be victorious. You're, you're, you're healing. You could be helping women. Women, you know, if you're an Aries woman, you might be helping other women. If Even if you're a man, you might be helping women, it feels like. Um, mothers, in particular. The women and their children. You're going to be very victorious. This could be something that you're getting yourself involved in. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. So you're leaving behind a burden that you still don't have full closure on because it's still it still kind of lingers in your memory and it you have thoughts and feelings about it. Like I think you have thoughts and feelings about someone that you don't know exactly how it's gone you know it you had to choose another road is what i'm seeing here you had to choose another road and and you had to take care of yourself it was fear you were in fear but you are in charge now you are your own boss you are in your own power beautiful because this is going into the year of the tiger and the horse is another powerful uh chinese sign that is very compatible to the to the tiger so it feels like you're going you're doing well you're on a good good um track here you're on a good journey you're on your journey it feels like okay ten of wands it is burdensome this is it, okay i'm gonna say this is the past this is a cycle that has passed for you yeah definitely see it like i said it was something about you <clears throat> My throat wants to close up. Hold on. Coffee time. Coffee break. One second. It's mid-afternoon and my energy has fluctuated back and forth. I have all kinds of weird schedules happening. Um, regardless, sorry, I don't want to go on a segue. I do feel that you you had a lot of pain here, a heartache. It was it was something that was it could be ten years. And you had a lot of passion for this person and somehow it just dissipated it just went away you don't know what they ha what happened to them there's a mystery here that you don't have an explanation for and it's still heartbreaking like i said i feel this remnants of how you still get waves of this person okay I, it could be like you have a very psychic connection um you guys might have had the same type of childhood this person might have helped you raise your children maybe something along these lines where your child is involved it could be that um there's two energies there's a passion that's going to come there's a desire a dream that you've been wanting to do and it's going to come to fruition you're going to be pushing it through okay there's something that you see that you want to push through but you've been moving in fear maybe fear has stopped you maybe this whole energy stopped you from moving into this direction where you needed to be going now you're nourishing yourself yeah i see the cow now you're nourishing yourself 
and abundance is here for you. And if you have been, um, I swear to God, I predicted this. Okay, if you have been in uh, absence of your children, I feel some of you miss them very, very much. And you've been working on yourself. You, were, you know, I think that was something that led you to work on yourself, okay? And now you might reunite with your children. You might have, or grandchildren, if that even is the case. They might have been held from you or, okay, this is coming in reverse, which is very odd because most of these cards are, let me see, these guys get in there. Five of swords. You're not conflicted in this anymore. Ooh, this person really was, uh... Oh my God, they enjoyed injuring you. This person has done a lot of damage in your past. They, 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 they blocked, they could have put up, this could have been the wedge that got between you and your children, okay? And you have um, moved leaps and bounds here. Six of cups, yeah, somebody coming back to your past. They will be connecting, they'll be communicating. Somebody from your past is coming. It could be somebody, it's a, it's, it's a child. It's like, it could be a grandchild, a granddaughter, god aunt, goddaughter, godchild, something like that. It has to do with your children. This is your ancestors helping you. If somebody has passed on, it's your ancestors helping bring this unit together, bringing it together. I feel it's your mother. If your mother has passed on or your mother figure or your grandmother. Six of Swords. Wow. You. Okay. <clears throat> what? Okay, let's see what this is about. Because I feel, okay, I'm not going to say anything because if I say it. So let me just tap into this energy as to six of swords. This is the way that you think, okay? This is the way that you think. And you're still caught up. There's a, still like a blockage. All right. So what I see here is that people have done some spell work on you from the past. And you're still barely getting through it, okay? You're still barely seeing the real truth the real it's very foggy okay so what i see it's very foggy for you to move forward it's very unsure you don't feel safe even though you're you're being guided move forward you're you'll be in your power keep nourishing and and um caring for yourself your inner child okay and it's like maybe you're alone to, maybe you're afraid to be alone this stone is not working Maybe you're afraid to be alone. Yeah, I get a fear of 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 loneliness, not a fear of of You have to find a, Okay, maybe you're having trouble sleeping. That's another thing I'm getting. Maybe you're having a really high resistance. Yeah don't want to okay so this is kind of like energy of like you are thinking bad and you have to manifest and think well even though you are doing the right steps very logical but when you're alone these dark thoughts come and haunt you maybe will i be loved will i find a partner will something along these lines if you're a single and of birth giving age you're like will i become a mother oh that's what it is Okay, 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 got you. You might have lost a child. Oh, dear Lord, I feel like some of you lost a little girl. Um, like you might have aborted this child or had a miscarriage and you found out it was a little girl. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, it's so sad. It's so beautiful, but sad. Oh, there's this fear that comes in your subconscious it comes it comes okay let's not use this anymore what are we going to use let's see if we can use the um, psyche card to reveal more information you must believe to achieve you know i feel like you don't have problems achieving but this is a personal thing this is a intimately personal thing the sun it's about children you see so you have, you're just going through a very dark right now when I'm doing this. It's right before the mid of December and we're going through a lot of 
dark energy purging a lot of things and this is like on a you know piscean level of a whole karmic cycle lifetime after lifetime so it's even heavier than typical energy of purging so i feel like when you're by yourself you get these thoughts um it could be a child that's not with you a child but yet the child is with you you know because i feel like you have a very psychic connection with the living children and with the spirit children you're a very psychic connection okay and you're getting these messages when you least expect it they come in powerfully and strong look we have two images of like stampeding this is going to come in fast and furious somebody from your past is going to come in fast and furious i don't mean to sound like the movie but <laughs> maybe paul's maybe that name is is um significant all right let's keep moving here spirit this is fascinating fascinating you're you know you're viewed as kind loving giving and again psychic abilities yeah are very very strong for you right now okay they are very strong for you oh my um you're viewed you're you're somebody who's viewed as in their power uh somebody who can be aggressive who can take on the aggressive nature but is more feminine right and and so you can get things done through your woos through your communication through you have a beautiful voice perhaps you have something very alluring about you here that gets stuff done oh yeah and i see even the tiger there it almost looks like he has um a cub in the middle of but it's an orb it's not a cub all right let's see what else we got all right let's see some hidden what's going on what's the hidden nature here what's some hidden stuff what's the unseen spirit we're asking for the unseen if you could give us a little more information as to what aries needs to know regarding the unseen forces the unseen um information that aries okay so eight of pentacles you're working hard okay you're a hard worker you're getting stuff done you know, you can pay your rent, you can pay your bills, you, you got it, you know, you got this under control. I got it energy, okay? I got this. That was the Queen of Wands energy, Two of Wands. Now we have the, a decision that you need to make, but you're not making this decision. I think it's somebody else that needed to make a decision. That has you still spinning your wheels like, oh, like what the hell happened? We have the mystery, okay? You This, this, this burdensome energy... You got to slay that dragon. You have to get over this person who didn't appreciate you, didn't take care of you, uh, backstabbed you, and was happy, happy when you were down. When you were down, this person would leave you, and they were happy about it. Don't forget that, please. Knight of Cups. You need to be kinder to yourself. You know, forgive yourself. You need to... Spirit saying, you know, those were lessons for you to learn, to be strong, to chisel you like the diamond that you're meant to be and shine. Judgment. Judgment is here for that person. Okay. So this is where this sadness comes. I hope this person is not your child. I really do. Because if this person is your child, that your child's going to have to reap some karma for that. But I don't feel that necessarily. Um because i just that's not what i'm talking about i feel like this is this you could have okay i almost pick up that you treated this person this person was very childlike your past person was very childish did foolish things um and made the wrong choices and they left you f and hang in here many many times okay so this 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 person is going to reap their karma and this is what is really you know this it's coming to them and, and and it's not like you wanted this for them because you loved this person this is where the fear is coming you are getting this person is psychic with you you're getting the downloads of like feeling their pain feeling the anguish feeling what they're going through damn this is very difficult energy because you have a very psychic connection with this person the fifth house is here twice you had a lot of dreams ambitions um 
you devoted a lot of time and energy to help this individual it didn't get you nowhere it didn't get you nowhere but you you reap that you you're reaping of of good okay let's find out what this is is this the deck i want to use no let's just go with the sabellas should we go with the sabellas okay we're gonna go with the sabellas we're gonna ask about this past person coming by they're gonna communicate with you past person is going to communicate with you this could be somebody from your childhood it could be a female you might be getting a lot of information of people's stuff happening to them and it's it, it could be like you know bringing you down too it could be like damn the world's falling apart like you you're like oh you're holding it up okay aries you're holding it up your little corner of the world is standing okay but um many people are coming to you telling you stuff that is very depressing and, and heartbreaking and difficult for them to process yeah yeah you're you're in a very uh conflicted space maybe hearing other people's is this two cards i could swear it feels like two cards but it's one okay yeah okay so you're you're here doing your own thing, but you're, you're getting a lot of information, right? The Eight of Wands. You're getting a lot of information. They could be telling you, hey, I saw your ex or something about your children. It could be your children. Maybe your children have drug issues or something. There's something going on. Somebody that you love, and I don't know why I said drug issues, but somebody that you love might be going through drug issues or somebody's spouse is telling you something about something sad. And you're like doing your work, you're studying, you're doing your thing, and they come and and you're getting this, you're getting this information through the internet or through conversations on the phone or messenger, things like that. So you're like on the pulse of of communication here, but it's caught, and you're just trying to go about your business, you know, in your power, in your home, nourishing yourself, doing the things, but it's bringing a lot of fear, and then and then you go to sleep with all this sad news. And then you're worried about your children or the person that did all this stuff for you and all the anguish that that okay that's one person's story i guess you know that's one person's story we i hope that resonated for somebody it's pretty it's it, i feel you're doing well but i think that you're getting things that are difficult to process that are not having to do with you okay and you have to learn to separate yourself and continue which it's not like you haven't done that before but it's it's um it's 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 like leaking into your psyche it's it, it's it's affecting you it's affecting your work it's affecting let's see what else can we get some more information on this spirit oh gosh okay this one's reversed as well i keep cutting into the reversed ones okay a tower this information damn oh my god why did i have to cut into this okay something again i think i don't think this is you i think this is other people and this is going into your psyche king of pentacles wow i think you're still healing from somebody who is very greedy who wanted to use you for your power your your status and your money and this has already occurred and you're in a place of healing yourself you're still healing that energy okay let's turn this right side up you're still healing that energy Okay, all of these are reversed. This is crazy. I'm just going to F and leave it. I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay, the world. This is a new cycle. So you're entering this new cycle. All right, let's get into it, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. It's you, it's time to get moving, you know. Spirit's saying we want to take you into that next level, that next cycle. But you need to heal from this. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like some of you, it it, it stops your, your quality of work. I think energetically, you don't want to leave this person. You want to be like, um, I think your soul is tied to them. I think you might not even have a ring on your finger, but you feel like this is your husband. This is your wife, right? This is somebody you've been very devoted and um, loyal to in in the sense of not giving yourself away to anybody else but this person on a on a deep level 
you invested a lot of time energy into this person when this person actually was working against you plotting plotting and and yeah i think this caused a, a lot of pain okay we have the ace of swords this is a truth you got to face and it's very hard for you to swallow that pill because yeah you you're, you're, you have to start a new journey here and this is the truth this is a new truth a new journey without them and i think that's what really is keeping you stuck you're here but before you must heal you must heal yourself okay the star card Okay. Yeah, you have to choose to love yourself more and then less. You'll be victorious here in this new journey that you're going to be embarking. Page of Pentacles. But you haven't quite invested as much time, energy, effort into that healing process. Um, you might have an Aquarius here that's helping you or you might have... Um, you might have a lot of rationale in this healing where you're educating yourself, but maybe it was a narcissistic energy. It was somebody, um, you know, a psychopath, a narcissist that, that bamboozled you and you just were caught up for so long, my beautiful Aries. Yes. You will reap, you will reap from a new lover here who's coming in. They see you, man. They see you. They're not coming in with a strong offer. This person is like intimidated by you or awed by you. I don't know. But they don't feel like a like a man in front of you. Okay, this also could be that the remember I said your child that you've been estranged from, they might be coming in and that will bring you a lot of joy. That will lift up your spirits a lot during this time. So maybe it's just connecting during the holidays with the people that you love. Okay. This person is really giving strong consideration into bringing you back into their life it looks like okay clarify ah uh, but this person there's two energies here i think this could be your ex trying to come back and they're trying to make that choice and this person doesn't really have you won't have that desire you won't have that passion that you once did it's it's more like you see them as somebody that you need to care for it's more like you just love them because you care about them but they don't bring that manly passion like that desire like that pull my hair and let's get to it no it's it's gone like that's gone like it's it's more turned into like a mother child situation scenario wow i don't <clears throat> it keeps coming in, in like this okay what are we gonna what are we going to look at? Let's look at the star energy. It's because you're healing this dynamic. That This person is, to, is met, yeah, the emperor. Somebody's coming in, man. Somebody who is, I'm telling you, somebody's coming in for you. They're the emperor, okay? There could be Aquarius, Aries. Um, I also think of emperor as Scorpio, too, because of the Mars being ruled. Okay, uh... You're healing until that point. This person can't come into your into your uh, auric field yet. Okay. Yeah, this is a. You need to complete this cycle. Make the choice that you don't want that X. That you want to heal from that. Ten of Cups. Wow, two tens. This person is gonna not only gonna give you emotional fulfillment, but they got bank, man. They got money in the bank. You don't have to f and worry, Aries. Oh my God amazing yeah that's the new cycle exactly i'm gonna leave it at this this is your new cycle that you deserve that you've earned that you're stepping straight into okay probably after six weeks from now because this is or venus is bringing this in venus and capricorn in retrograde is bringing this in in the next within the next six weeks with it could be there's a lot of different people within the next six weeks because that's venus and capricorn or after so maybe you have to value yourself in this six-week period. And then this emperor is going to come in and well, boom. Money, honey. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be like, we're in the money. Salvation, honey. Yeah. Okay, let's get some beautiful messages for my um, collective. Let's get some feathers. You need to lighten this up. Let's lighten it up, spirit. What did this Aries needs to know here? Somebody's coming for you. You're healing your inner child. 
wounds and uh, the connection with your children, grandchildren. And it's you have a lot of things to look forward to for the December season where you can reunite. Either There's going to be a reunion, I tell you. I mean, not only because of the Christmas season, but it's going to be... Because of that, it's going to lead into having that deeper connection with them again. Because I feel... Yeah. The power to heal the earth is within you. Oh my goodness, the turkey. That's beautiful. And goose. Your dreams and desires are calling you to action. The journey begins today. What are you working on? You're working on something. You guys are working on something special. Wow. And look, I, oh, I cut the deck again. And it goes to White Swan. This is a soulmate coming. This is a lifetime partner. The power of divine grace is within you. It's because you have such grace. The way that you've handled things. The way that you've moved. Spirit sees that and they know you deserve a really good partner. And the last one here is Ops Opsbury. It says, Your success is now at hand. Allow the abundance to flow to you effort effortlessly. You just gotta sit back and enjoy the show. You just gotta heal that inner child. You gotta know that you're worthy. You picked somebody who just you had a lot of compassion, a lot. You forgave this person way too many times. That I get that with the turkey. You sacrificed your skin. You sacrificed yourself. You put, you compromise yourself even. Yeah. Okay. So anything else we want to, we want to do, what, what did I say I was going to do? The um, mythical wisdom. Oh. Resilience, rise above the tribulations. You have done this marvelously, excellently, and you're scaling up, and no one can touch you where you're at. I mean, you're kind of become the untouchable here. You rose above your tribulations, especially my Aries Feminine Collective. Amen. You're going to teach us. I think you're going to teach other feminine collectives how to do it, honey. Because you're a leader. Yep. Leadership. Set your goals. This could be a Leo coming in for you. It could be another fire sign. Um, again, this is the third time we see this. You know, the sunflowers and the and the tiger is the fifth house represented. So you're, you're this person's going to help you build your dreams and your dream life. This is so gorgeous. Okay, I want to get another one. This I was going to stop there, but this is just getting too darn good. And when it gets good, maybe I'm going to push it. But I want to find out a little bit more about Aries. Oh, I, I like this energy. I like being in it. I don't even want this uh, reading to end. It's so beautiful. You're gaining knowledge. You're really hungry for knowledge. This is your Mars learning to value yourself, learning the tips and the tricks you know, maybe to avoid for others of what you've gone through, right? Your pain could be uh, not in vain because you're using it to help others. But this is very deep work. And spirits here. You're really going through a life review. And, you've, and, and your life has like a tapestry here that tells a, a story of you surviving time after time surviving against the odds okay um i think i'm gonna leave it there now thank you kindly for watching uh give me a kindly give me a thumbs up and emoji whatever you want uh any kind of interaction is wonderful and much love and light to you take care until next time enjoy your holidays and um we'll meet again okay bye bye